For years, Blue Origin's been preparing for the moment when their new Glenn rocket will lift off from Florida, and now the company is poised to make history. This is something everyone's been eagerly anticipating. However, in their characteristic pattern, Blue Origin has continued to disappoint, as the launch date for New Glenn has faced repeated delays. Initially planned for late 2024, it was then pushed back to Jan 6th and now extended to January 10th, coinciding with the launch of SpaceX's Starship. So what exactly is going on with Blue Origin's New Glenn? Could the decision to launch on the same day as Starship be a deliberate move to overshadow SpaceX's Starship? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. It seemed that New Glenn might finally launch on January 6th as a New Year's gift, but alas, Blue Origins once again postponed the date, first to January 8th, then the 10th. Previously, a launch was scheduled for October to fulfill NASA's escapade mission, but that mission had to be rescheduled due to New Glenn's ongoing delays. To be fair, delays for the maiden flight of a new rocket are not unusual in the space industry. However, for Blue Origin, a company of considerable size and a trusted partner of the U.S. government, this is particularly disappointing, especially when you consider the extensive time they've had to develop New Glenn. From its initial announcement till now, it's taken 11 years. With such a lengthy development period, further delays should have been avoided at all costs. These setbacks may stem from serious issues with New Glenn. Many believe the root cause lies in technical problems last year. In August, the upper stage of a rocket was damaged during transportation to a hangar. In a separate incident, another upper stage failed during stress testing and exploded. These incidents likely explain why New Glenn's been sitting on the launch pad for so long without undergoing any significant testing. The company could appear to be exercising extreme caution to avoid further mishaps that could jeopardize the vehicle. In truth, these examples are just the tip of the iceberg. They reflect the broader challenges Blue Origin's facing it as it struggles to ramp up production of New Glenn, a project that's already four years behind schedule. Beyond technical hurdles, the company is also dealing with issues in research and development. This prompted the new CEO, Dave Limp, to assemble a team of execs tasked with revitalizing the company and steering it out of years of stagnation. Now, New Glenn's maiden flight's rescheduled for January 10th, a date that coincides, perhaps intentionally, with SpaceX's Starship Flight 7. This time, it seems BO's determined to directly challenge SpaceX, their fiercest competitor. January 10th promises to be a pretty cool day for the space community, yeah? But that said, we cannot entirely rule out the possibility of another delay. While I sincerely hope that's not going to happen, Blue Origin's reputation for delays makes it a distinct possibility. Let's hope they stick with the schedule this time. At the very least, it's going to set the stage for one of the most intense rivalries in space history between these two industry titans. So, what was special about New Glenn's first flight? Blue Origin formally announced the development of New Glenn in 2016, positioning it as a rocket designed to outperform SpaceX's Falcon 9. With the capability to carry up to 45 metric tons into orbit, New Glenn aims to set a new standard for heavy lift launch vehicles. When it comes to maiden flights, rocket companies often take the cautious approach, opting to launch dummy payloads such as blocks of metal. SpaceX, for example, famously launched a cherry red sports car in the debut of its Falcon Heavy rocket in 2018. Blue Origin, however, has consistently emphasized its commitment to a slow and meticulous development process, prioritizing reliability. This approach is summed up by the company's mascot, a tortoise, symbolizing the mantra from the classic fable, slow and steady wins the race. We believe slow is smooth and smooth is fast, said Blue Origin's founder Jeff Bezos back in 2016. These remarks seem to frame Blue Origin as the antithesis of SpaceX, which has built their reputation on a rapid development philosophy that embraces trial and error. Despite the deliberate approach, SpaceX has long claimed victory in the race to orbit. In its first orbital rocket, Falcon 1, which achieved successful launch in September of 2008, the company has since completed hundreds of missions. Falcon 9, the backbone of the SpaceX fleet, has an impressive operational record with only two in-flight failures and one launch pad explosion in its history, none of which happened during human space flights. While SpaceX routinely sacrifices rockets during test flights to accelerate innovation, its track record for operational missions is stellar. In contrast, Blue Origin has been primarily known for its space tourism efforts. The suborbital New Shepard rocket launched paying customers and celebs on brief trips to the edge of space. 
While New Shepard's not powerful enough to get satellites to orbit, it's done over 20 flights with just one uncrewed mission failure. As New Glenn prepares for its first flight, it marks a significant step for Blue Origin toward competing in the orbital launch market. Meanwhile, the rivalry between SpaceX's founder and CEO Elon Musk continues to attract attention. Despite their well-documented sparring, Elon offered words of encouragement for New Glenn's debut posting Godspeed on the X platform back on December 27th. Nonetheless, Bezos remains hopeful that Blue Origin can become a formidable competitor capable of challenging the dominance of SpaceX. But transitioning from might complete to will complete is a far more challenging leap. Assuming everything goes well and New Glenn's test flights start on schedule with no delays, during that time, SpaceX has been launching and landing Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy for years. The value of flight data gathered from such numerous launches and landings for SpaceX can be overstated as it helps refine the systems and operational process of the Falcon 9 line while also fine-tuning the design of Starship. Over the next three years, SpaceX is expected to streamline its processes further, increasing its already staggering launch cadence. It's conceivable that up to half the year's launches might be Starship missions handling payload deployments. Since SpaceX plans to freeze the development of the Falcon 9 line after the current generation, its reliability will continue to improve. Meanwhile, New Glenn will debut as an entirely new rocket with no launch history and will compete against the Falcon 9, which has a proven and extensive track record. To attract customers from SpaceX, Blue Origin will need to offer launch services at a significantly lower price than Falcon 9. Currently, the listed price of Falcon Heavy in an expendable configuration with three new cores is already substantially lower than any other existing launch vehicle when measured by cost per kilogram to orbit. Moreover, Starship is poised to quickly secure multi-million dollar contracts. With its capability to launch 150 tons to orbit, land, refuel, and relaunch another 150 tons, it's going to be challenging for New Glenn or any other current launch system to compete with that. The marginal cost per Starship flight, that includes fuel, oxidizer, range, and flight control costs, is projected to be so low that SpaceX could undercut New Glenn's production costs and still turn over a profit. Having said that, New Glenn should not be dismissed as an underperformer in the aerospace industry. In terms of payload, New Glenn is undeniably a powerful rocket. New Glenn packs significant punch. Dubbed a heavy lift vehicle, its capabilities lie somewhere between SpaceX's Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy launch vehicle. The workhorse, SpaceX's Falcon 9, for example, can haul up to 23 metric tons to space. New Glenn's capable of double that, and it may also be roughly the same price as a Falcon 9, reportedly around 60 to 70 mil a launch. I think in order to compete with Falcon 9, you have to go head-to-head -head or better on price, said Caleb Henry, the director of research at Colty Space, which provides data and analysis about the space sector. The question, however, is whether BO will be able to sustain a competitive price point, Henry added. Still, one feature that makes New Glenn stand out is its large payload fairing or nose cone. The component protects the cargo bay and is a whopping 7 meters wide, nearly 2 meters bigger than that of Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy. Henry said that Blue Origin likely opted to outfit New Glenn with such a big fairing in order to help fulfill Bezos' vision of the future. The tech billionaire has long described a desire to one day move manufacturing and other polluting heavy industries off of Earth, leaving the home planet as sort of a national park for humans to visit and enjoy. And to do that, you need rockets that can carry big objects. Though New Glenn outpowers the Falcon 9, SpaceX is in the process of developing a groundbreaking flagship of its rocket arsenal. Like like Bezos, SpaceX's Elon has his own concept of our future in space with humans living and working on other planets, specifically Mars. To help realize that, SpaceX is developing Starship, the biggest and most powerful launch vehicle ever made. The nearly 121-meter rocket dwarfs New Glenn in every sense. Elon has the hopes that Starship will haul up to 300 tons to orbit. SpaceX's built Starship is a rocket that could make all others obsolete because it aims to drastically reduce the price per kg of getting cargo or people to space. Whether that will happen remains to be seen, Henry noted. But I think that if SpaceX continues to lower the cost of access to space, they'll always be the number one competitor, Henry said. While it may be challenging to surpass SpaceX, New Glenn has in some ways already made its mark in the launch industry. Blue Origin has for years pitched the rocket to compete with both SpaceX and ULA, a joint venture of Boeing and Lockheed Martin that buys engines from Blue Origin for lucrative military launch contracts. 
Space Force selected Blue Origin, ULA, and SpaceX back in June to compete for nearly $6 billion worth of Pentagon contracts for national security missions slated to launch over the next four years. Blue Origin also has deals with several commercial companies to launch satellites. The contracts include plans to help deploy Amazon's Kuiper Internet satellites and a recently inked deal with AST Space Mobile to help launch the Midland, Texas-based company Space Base Cellular Broadband Network. New Glenn could also be instrumental in building Blue Origin's planned space station known as Orbital Reef. Blue Origin and its commercial partners, including Sierra Space and Boeing, among others, hope the station will one day provide a new destination for astronauts as the ISS is phased out of service. In the upcoming flight, Blue Origin had planned to launch a pair of Mars-bound sats on behalf of NASA for New Glenn's first flight, but delays with the rocket's development prompted the space agency to change course, moving that flight to this spring at the earliest. So, for the first flight, Blue Origin opted to instead fly a demo that will test technology needed for the company's proposed Blue Ring spacecraft, which will aim to serve as a sort of in-space rideshare vehicle, dragging satellites deeper into space when necessary. The demonstrator on this new Glenn flight will remain aboard the rocket for the entire six-hour flight, Blue Origin said, and will validate communications capabilities from orbit to ground, as well as test its in-space telemetry tracking and command hardware and ground-based radiometric tracking. The Blue Ring Pathfinder demonstrator is part of a deal Blue Origin inked with the U.S. DOD's Innovation Unit. And to make its first flight a landmark event and a bold move, Blue Origin decided to land the full rocket stage of New Glenn on a drone ship, making a clear statement to the world that they would become the second private company after SpaceX to achieve rocket reuse. Similar to SpaceX, Blue Origin is aiming to recover and refly its first stage boosters in a bid to make launches less expensive. Reusability is integral to radically reducing costs per launch, the company said in a recent news release, using the same oft-repeated sentiment that SpaceX has touted since it started landing rocket boosters back in 2015. Bezos, however, has acknowledged the importance of reusing rocket parts since he founded the company in 2000, two years before Elon established SpaceX, and the company has already developed its suborbital New Shepard tourism rocket to be reusable. It's not a copycat game, Henry said. Blue Origin has been pursuing reusables since before reusable vehicles were cool. Now it's much more of a mainstream idea because of SpaceX. The difference is that it's taken Blue Origin much longer to get to orbit. If successful, returning New Glenn's booster for a safe landing will be a stunning feat. After expending most of its fuel to propel the rocket's upper stage to space, the first stage booster will need to make a clean separation. The booster must then maneuver it with pinpoint guidance and reignite its engines with precision timing to avoid crashing into the ocean or the Jacqueline recovery platform. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks for checking us out and see you next time.